We have a long history of precision medicine, or the kinds of things that we're now calling precision medicine, which is really to try and identify the individual variations in people that make a difference in terms of our ability to make diagnoses, to treat people accurately. Our UW Medicine uh, Precision Diagnostic Center is a, is a new thing that was developed after it was recognized that we had all of the facilities and the people, the technology here, and it needed a home so that we could use the experience and the technologies at UW Med uh, Medical Centers um, and the associated parts of it uh, to make a difference for people's lives and for patients. Even without the genetics, people have a, have a knowledge of their family history of their risk for cardiovascular disease, but perhaps in some cases, individuals actually knowing they have a predisposition for it by, by looking at their genome uh, might have a, a slightly different effect on whether or not they would do something about it or whether they could do something about it. Uh, and, and knowing your genetic makeup can give you some idea of, of what might work for you and what might not. It has tremendous implications for research. It has tremendous implications for application. It has tremendous implications for treatment. And we just haven't seen um, these kinds of developments and breakthroughs in medicine um, ever. Whereas in the past we would sequence genes often one by one, um, we use different technologies now to basically be able to sequence all of the genes at the same time. So we use technologies to basically amplify or, or pull out segments of the genome that contain these coding regions and then we sequence those all at one time. Um, and with these newer technologies we're able to basically do that in a very short amount of time much more cost effectively than um, the Human Genome Project would have been you know, a decade ago. This is the coolest part of medicine. There is absolutely no doubt about it. I mean, everybody who wants to do medicine should be wanting to do this kind of medicine. And um, I think it's one of the greatest recruiters that we have to, to bring people into medicine. To bridge science and treatment, um, it, it enlarges the numbers of tools that we have available to make, uh, to make us and help us understand how we work and how we function. And I don't think there's been as exciting a time in medicine as this is. It is the coolest time to be in medicine, absolutely.